Hi everybody, my name is Justin and welcome to Game On, a channel all about tabletop gaming. Today is the last day of 2021. Game On has had such a fun time in 2021 and we are excited to have a good year for 2022. And why not go out with a bang? We have a viewer request from longtime friend of the show, Spencer. He's been on the show a couple of times and he is going to be DMing his first Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition campaign. He doesn't really like the CR system, no one really does, and he was concerned about making encounters for his low-level party as a new DM. He doesn't want to overwhelm them, he doesn't want to underwhelm them, so he asked me for some advice. Someone who's been running 5th edition since it's been in playtest. And I have two very, very helpful tips for any new DMs that you don't have to worry about anything else. You don't have to worry about attacks. You don't have to worry about AC. All that you have to worry about is two things and we're gonna get into that. Okay, everyone, so before we get started, all that you really have to worry about as a new DM when making encounters is worrying about your party's total actions and your party's total hit points. So in my head, I built a party of first level characters. They have four actions and they have 37 collective hit points between all of them. Let's take a goblin for an example. They are classic creatures, uh, enemies that a DM can use against low level parties. Let's take a look at one goblin. Doesn't matter what their special actions are, what their bonus is, what their AC is. Don't worry about any of that. All you have to worry about is that they have seven hit points and they have one action. So what happens if you take four goblins against four players? Well, you got four actions versus four actions, but you have 37 total hit points for the party uh, of PCs, and you would have 28 total hit points for the goblins, meaning that it's gonna be a lot easier for the party to take them on, even though they have the same amount of actions, the goblins have significantly less hit points. Now, if you wanted to add one more goblin, you have yourself five actions versus the party's four actions. However, that's now 35 hit points versus the party's 37. It's probably gonna be much more even keeled and much more of an even fight in that situation. So worrying about the total hit points versus the total hit points of your party, plus their actions is very, very helpful. If you want to make that encounter just a little bit more difficult, you can throw in one more goblin for six actions versus the four actions of the party, and now you have yourself 42 hit points versus the total 37 against the party. That's going to make it harder because now they have two more actions plus more hit points. So if you want to make it difficult, increase the actions and the hit point total above the party. If you want to keep it even, try to keep the actions and the hit points similar. And if you want to make it easy, keep the actions similar but the hit points lower. That's all you have to worry about for rule number one. Hey guys, if you like this content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell and smash that like button. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. So that uh, we know that you like this kind of content more. We're gonna go on to rule number two. So rule one was quite simple and rule two is just as simple. Let's say that you want to have an enemy hit point total more than the party. Perfectly fine to do. Most monsters against the party are going to have more hit points. So what do you do in that situation? Well, let's say that our party, instead of coming up against four or five goblins, they come up against a hobgoblin captain and one goblin. That gives the enemies two actions, but 46 hit points, meaning that they have more hit points versus the party total of your PCs, but they have two actions less meaning that it's actually gonna be a little bit more even. Even though the enemy has more hit points, they have less actions. So a big thing to remember is if you are going to have an enemy with more hit points than your party's total, 
make sure they have less actions. However, there is a caveat to that. Don't ever double the hit points of your enemy versus your party's total. For example, Hobgoblin Warlord. Hobgoblin Warlord has three actions. That's one action less than the party, but it has 97 hit points. That is more than double the party's 37 hit points. In that situation, even though the party has more hit points, they are probably going to lose because as soon as, part, as soon as enemies start getting higher hit points, their attacks start doing more damage. So you don't even have to worry about the CRs or, or any of the other special abilities. Just know that if you're throwing a monster with less actions, but double hit points or more at your party, understand that that monster is probably going to defeat your party. That's all you have to worry about. If you're gonna throw an enemy with more hit points than your party, make sure they have less actions, but their hit points are not double or more than your party's hit point total. That is gonna keep everything in check. You don't have to worry about anything else. I know that there, I'm sure somebody who's been DMing for as long as I can can probably nitpick and pull little, you know, but what if this and but what if that. Don't worry about that. I understand that there are little caveats to just about everything, but as a general rule, those two simple rules are what are, is going to help you build a better encounter as a new DM. So quickly, let's just recap. Make sure that the actions and the hit point totals are relatively congruent with each other. If you want to add a little bit more actions against the party, just make sure that the hit points total of your enemies don't go too much over the hit point total of your party members, the PCs. If you want to have an enemy with more hit points than the party's total combined value, make sure they have less actions and don't do more than double or don't even do double the amount that the party has in total. That's all you have to worry about. Again, you don't have to worry about weapon damage, you don't have to worry about AC, you don't have to worry about special abilities. Those are the two mind-blowing rules that will keep your players feeling perfectly fun during the game. Won't be overwhelming, won't be underwhelming. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really hope that you guys had fun with Game On in 2021. I know that Matt and I did. We are excited for 2022. If you guys want to see more content like this, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Justin and Game On.